Hey everyone, this is McCade Marshall coming to you live here from Zuma Beach. And you know, when I, I'm, I'm in Malibu right now for the week, and you know, I knew coming out here that I was going to, God was going to show me some things, and that I wanted to go live and kind of share you some of the things I felt in my spirit that God has been showing me. And um, you know, uh, Los Angeles is a huge place. I've always had a lot of dreams and desires, even within this city, things I've wanted to do. Um, and, and this is the city of dreams. And it, you know, truly, when you drive around the beautiful mountains, the oceans, the, the huge homes, and all, it's a very dreamy place. And especially after it's rained and everything's really green. But I want to talk to you today. Um, about some of the things God is showing me. I was getting out of the shower last night, I was getting ready for bed, and all of a sudden I had this vision, and this, this vision, this fiery angel appears in my room. And as many of you know in my ministry, I, I see a lot of things in the spiritual realm uh, through, through my mind and in my spirit, and God shows me stuff. Anyway, so I'm getting ready for bed, and this fiery angel, just, just this majestic angel I can see in the spirit, comes up to me and I can just feel the presence of God. And the angel has this book in his hand and he comes up to me while I'm getting ready for bed and I'm just kind of in awe standing there. And, and he opens up this book and he says to me, McCade, it has already been written concerning your life. And the angel said some other things that I'm not going to share, but he said the words, McCade, it has already been written. And then, and then I saw as I was going to sleep, I saw this angel again and he, and he showed me more things and he gave me a date. And, and I'm sharing this because in your life, you know, in the book of Psalms, it says that all the days ordained for me were already written in your book. In heaven, God is above time. He is the creator of time. He knew when you were going to be born. He knew when you were going to get married. He even knew if you've been divorced. He even knew your divorce date. He knew everything about you. And he says to you today, it has already been written. And, and what that means is you can be at peace knowing that your creator already knows what's in your future. You know, God has shown me things that I want to accomplish in life. One of the things is MLM publishing and, and being in the media and doing all sorts of things from writing books to TV shows to movies to all these things I want to do. And, and, and the Spirit last night just said to me, McCain, it's already been written. You just go out and do it. Jesus, think about Jesus' public ministry. Before he ever died on the cross, do you know it was already written that he would silently go to the cross and be crucified? It says he would be silent before his accusers, Isaiah and the prophets. It was already written before Jesus was ever born what he was going to do. It was already written that his body would not go undergo decay. In the same way as a child of God, your destiny was already written before God said, let there be light. And I'm telling you this today because I just sent out a newsletter. It's based on the new web TV show we just released. And it's called The Better View, meaning seeing things from God's perspective, from the better view. And, and I'm telling you these things because I want you to know that you can entrust your dreams, your desires, the things that you really want to do in life. And maybe you're too afraid to... All right, here we go. So that poor connection. And, and anyways, talking about the better view, I just mailed out newsletters to people in 13 countries all over the world, plus people in all 50 states. Uh, when I when I felt called into the media after I'd listened to a message about we live in a media generation, uh, I, I, I you know one time a, a, a guy at, at college he said, "How big is your cup for God to pour into?" And then I immediately said, "The whole world's my cup." You know, I had these big ambitions and dreams, and I when I started writing, I said, "Lord, I, I decree and declare that my ministry, my witness, is going to all the nations." Of all 195 nations of the earth. And here I am uh, mailing out newsletters to 13 countries, but it started tiny. I had a handful of people on my mailing list from Malibu out here and a handful of people back in Texas. And over the course of seven or eight years, it has grown and grown and grown. How did I know that it would grow like that? One reason I knew is because the Holy Spirit in me already knew. It has already been written. 
So as you go about your days and, and you want to give up, I mean, right now it feels like there's a lot going on, you know. I, I flew on the airplane, they have the masks, and honestly, it's so oppressive everywhere you go. And I spoke out against all of those things uh, because it's not of God. Things that take away your freedom are not of God. So I just want to get that clear. But, but in this time of trial and, and really darkness, I mean, there's a lot of darkness in the world. It's already been written that you're victorious. It's already been written that you're going to fulfill many of the dreams that God has put in your heart. The key to seeing it come to pass is you have to stay in faith. You have to stand on the Word of God and let God move the mountains. And, and you know, as I'm, as I'm out here, I'm on Zuma Beach. This is my one of my favorite places to go. When I, when I lived out here full time, I love jogging out here. I love listening to worship music. I love just seeing the vastness of the ocean and, and the and, and infinite possibilities, you know. And, and so I want. Sorry, we're back. Sorry, it keeps cutting out here. Uh, so I want to encourage you to never give up. Uh, I had a vision. I wrote this in my newsletter, and in this vision, I saw the letters M L M Publishing written up and down this beach, and I saw my ministry broken up into the books, the newsletters, the recording equipment, the fundraising needed in order to buy the things we needed to reach the world uh, with the gospel message. And I, and I saw all these different things in front of these letters on this beach. And the reason the Lord showed me it on this beach is because this is the beach that spiritually is symbolic for me where I dream big. And so um, I just want to encourage you, whatever your special place is or, or whatever your desires and dreams are, you can entrust them to your Creator. So I just wanted to come live today and encourage you to keep pursuing and encourage you to pursue your God-given dream. Sorry it's cutting out, guys. All right, well, I love you so much, and I am praying for you, and everyone at MLM Publishing is praying for you every single day. We love you, and God bless you guys.